As I said, when we were finishing up the port side yesterday, I was just going to go ahead and do this side, and I wasn't going to video it. I did a few things different. Uh, for instance, I did not uh, make a post for, for this set little piece right here. And uh, I did have a bit of a problem. I, I'll show you where I had the problem. Um, I, I did glue the, uh, the ends of these rails onto the side of the turret here. Um, as well as right here. Anyway, uh, yeah, otherwise, uh, let me show you the, the biggest problem though. Now, this is not the end of the world. In other words, it's not really spoiling anything real badly, but this post right here is not fastened onto the behind the ledge. Uh, neither is this one. Um, if I try to pry this back, it's going to break loose over here and here. Um, yeah, what I did was I, I got I laid this piece down and then I adhered here and I adhered it here and then to my horror you might say I found out it, it doesn't you know match up here but um, only a little crewman walking around behind behind there on that deck on the other side of that railing is going to notice that you can't really notice it uh, unless you get at just the right angle and there is going to be a turret sitting right here. Uh, I believe it's one of the six inch guns, so it's going to take up quite a bit of space and, uh, you know, distract your attention from the fact that there's a, you know, a bit of a flaw there. But you know what? There's bit, bits of flaws everywhere on this thing, if you look close. Now, in order to get at the gunnels, this uh, guard that I put on here is too high, so I was going to lower it, and then I realized that, well, the bow is, uh, I can't get at the bow, and that's where I want to start. Um, so maybe the thing to do is to, to raise the ship a little bit, uh, at least to get at the bow. So uh, we'll have to take these off, because I don't want to, when I raise it up, catch anything. So we'll start all over again. And I'm going to uh, use a roll of uh, COVID-19 deterrent just to hold it up here. I have to be careful. Is so that going to fit in there? Got to watch that I don't. Whoops! I'm catching my my little stairs here. Oh. Or maybe I should slip something in behind, down in between there. I've already, uh, by reaching underneath here, I've already broken off the little, uh, uh, I don't know what you call these things. Anyway, they came off the bottom of each one of these. So i got to glue them back on them. If you remember a few episodes ago, I was saying that I've broken some stuff off while I was thinking of those when I said it. Uh, also, I noticed I broke off one of these uh, bollards, or whatever it's called. And, uh, no, I guess these are the bollards. What would this be called? Uh, it doesn't matter. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to be extra careful here. Maybe something like this. That'll help anyway. Now, if you will recall, about a year ago now, when we were doing the hull, I said I was going to leave these until uh, the very last. Um, like, I'm not going to put them on now, but I have to sort of know where they go. As one goes on the bow and one goes on the stern. And uh, because every drawing and picture I've seen of the bow the the railing it comes along and then goes around and it forms like a little a little circle and even on the very front of the bow there's actually railing at least according to the drawings um, well let's let's take a look and see what what we can find thinking about it now I'm realizing that what I was thinking about was all those famous photos of the Titanic's railing at the bow now, it was kind of hard to find a drawing in Stefan's book that showed just the bow. 
um, you can sort of see where the railing comes along and then it appears to stop and then something special goes across. You know, I'm wondering if maybe what we should do is bring the railing along and then stop it at a convenient place and then use uh, the easy line to go around the front of this part here. Uh, just just two, you know, two or three strands of it. It would look maybe a little bit more realistic. Um, I'm not sure. It would be a lot easier than, to, than trying to bend the railing all the way around here. Okay, here's a much better picture. This is actually the stern section, but I would assume that the bow was much the same way. The, the railing comes along, and the, the uh, posts, they stop like one's here, one's here, and it looks like they just ran a line and fastened it onto this, this part of the, uh, of the flagpole, or whatever you call that. Um, yeah, so why don't we just uh, do that? We'll run the the railing up to a convenient spot, and then we'll use easy line to go. You know, yeah, makes sense to me. Now this is just a thought, and I don't know if I'm going to do that yet, but I think it's a good thought. The um, rails that you see. They used to, there used to be four of them sticking out there, and I nipped the bottom two off, obviously. What if I was to glue it on like that, and then later, after the uh, flagpole is in place, bend those two ones in the front around to meet up with the flagpole? And, um, yeah. And, uh, whoops. And this one, this where it goes here, it actually goes around the other side of this, uh, Whatever it is, like I guess if this is a fair lead, maybe this is a type of fair lead as well. But being as it's for an anchor, maybe it's called something else. I don't know. Now there is another thing that we can do here. We could have the railing go from here to here and then stop. And then there would be a gap. Would start here. Would stop here, and then it would start again. Where it goes past the bullards, there won't be a problem because you can see it'll quite easily mount there. It's just these fair leads that are going to give us problems because they're right on the very edge. Um, and you know Murphy's Law, it'll say that the post is going to want to come here somewhere. Um, it's just a thought. I think that what I'm worried about is that when I bring the railing along and I try to go around the anchor here and then have it come back out here, and then of course the same on the other side. It, it's just, I'm just not going to be able to do a real good job, and it might actually look better if there wasn't anything here. Uh, maybe what we could do is, if let's say there was a post here and a post here, I could run a couple of strands of easy line across later. Um, of course it, it wouldn't be, uh, the, the rail would not be on this side of the anchor, it would be on this side, as I mentioned earlier, so the people wouldn't step down into this hole here. I don't know. Okay, and here's another thought. So I come along with the railing, and, uh, and we stop right here, start right here, and then what I could do is I could make a, a short railing just to go even with just two sections you know and and that short short piece would go around or at least partially around that might look okay it's just a thought um, anyway let's uh, let's glue something down from here to here now it appears to me that this post right here if it goes right there this post is going to end right about here, maybe a little bit too far this way. But maybe this post could sort of just kind of tuck in behind right here uh, and already sort of start the bend for these other two. I'm, I don't know. Once again, I'm sort of thinking out loud. I'm going to just cut cut it off right here. Okay, now you'll notice that this end of the railing is actually in the crack. 
where the deck and the hull seem together. But I don't think that's the way it's supposed to go. And I know that there are places where that won't work further back because the, you know, the crack is closed up. It might even have glue in it. I can't remember how I fastened it in. Well, yeah, I, I do. I glued it. So there'll be places that the railing won't even go in there. But, uh, see if I can lift this up and just move it back just a little and then get the pusher downer on there in the right place without it sort of popping or falling over or buckling if you know what I mean. Now if I can move the pliers back a millimeter it'll straighten up just slightly. Now I think if we could get the whole thing just a little bit closer to the bow um, oh, I tapped too hard here. I need a tiny little hammer. Okay, I'm back to where I was. Maybe I'll use different tweezers here. Try and rest my arm on something. I have to be so careful I don't push down and... Ooh. almost perfect. If I could just bring it back just a little bit here. Like I was saying, I don't want it in the crack. I want it sitting on top of the edge of the deck, which is probably only about half a millimeter wide. And there may be places that it's going to be too rounded to mount anything on it. I don't know until I get to it. Okay, if I could come up. All right. Um, offhand, I'd say this post is in the right place. We can move this one over later. Now, wouldn't you know it, I don't have my CA glue ready. Okay, we're back. Ooh, I'm bumping the pliers. Try this again, just you know, maybe trying to put it in behind is not a good idea. just let that cure then I can take the holder downer off and straighten out the front post now I didn't time it here but I do believe this is cured now if we can pull this over very gently here that's not gently Get that out of there. Maybe I should go on the top. Or maybe, let's see what would happen. Would it maybe just stay there all by itself in the right place? Just a friction fit, if you know what I mean. You know, I, I did bend this just slightly. You can probably see it. I should have maybe bent it just a little bit more. But it's kind of late now. All right. Adjust my uh, 
pinhead. Like that. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe I can pull it like this. Boy, I'm sure glad I'm not using film. Oh. You know, it's, it's funny I don't get uptight about this. I'm, I'm actually fairly relaxed even though maybe it looks like I'm shaking and trembling. And I'm not sweating any more than I normally do. I just get that post on the top of that ledge. Come on, Ron. not going to work. I'm trying to get that post that's by the pinhead to be sitting on top of the ledge. Like if I lift it up and bring it over, then the whole thing goes on the wrong side. I've got the camera sitting on my steady rest, which is maybe not a good idea. Oh, that's not good. Well, i got to be careful here. I'm going to bend this out of shape. Maybe I better just give up trying to have it perfect and, and just glue it like that. Put it on the top, maybe. Uh, let's just glue it like that. It's not exactly where I want it, but it's so close that nobody's going to know the difference. Let's see. Yeah, I guess from the back. Okay, let's let that cure. We are going to have to cut today's video off. And I got an email from Tony last night. He said he's going to be ma mailing the easy line to us shortly. And we'll probably get it in a week or less from today. And yeah, we'll have a box opening video and take a look at that. And uh, not that we haven't seen it before. Anyway, thanks for watching. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.